Feeding your coral properly increases growth and coloration. Different types of coral have very different feeding requirements, so we're going to give you a breakdown on the best methods to feed your coral. Broadcast feeding is the easiest and most common method. It really is just adding the food to the water column, letting it circulate, and the coral will filter feed it out of the water. Pretty much every single type of coral will benefit from this method. Phytoplankton is an algae-based coral food. Broadcast feeding this into the aquarium not only feeds your corals, but also a lot of microorganisms like zooplankton and copepods. Now, soft corals and filter feeding invertebrates particularly benefit from feeding phytoplankton to your aquarium. Zooplankton is the meat or protein side of broadcast feeding. There's gonna be either liquid form or powdered. Now, if you're using the powdered form, you're just gonna take a little bit of your aquarium water and mix it with it before feeding into the aquarium. Now, zooplankton is especially beneficial for LPS and SPS coral. Spot feeding is when you directly put food onto a coral. This is particularly beneficial for LPS, but some soft corals and SPS also benefit. When you go to spot feed, make sure you turn off your return pump and any power heads as you don't want any flow inside the aquarium while you're trying to direct or spot feed your coral. There's a lot of different food choices when it comes to spot feeding. One of them is a liquid diet like that zooplankton or phytoplankton. These liquid foods are great for SPS corals and soft corals, but certain LPS like Ganeopora really benefit from that heavy spot feeding. They don't have large mouths, so they need that small filter feeding liquid. When you go to spot feed using the liquid diet, you're gonna take some of it up into like a syringe or a turkey baster, and you wanna gently release it so it falls onto the coral. Mycin shrimp is a great meaty choice for corals like your LPS, as they need some bigger, chunkier stuff to eat. Spot feeding these larger food items to your LPS will definitely increase your growth rate. Using a turkey baster or syringe, take some of that mysis in there and you're going to want to put it onto the coral near the mouth. They have feeder tentacles that will then take that food directly into their mouth so they can eat it. When you have large LPS colonies or heavy feeders like meat corals, using a bigger, meatier food is a better choice. Krill is great for this. You're gonna use the same method as what you did with feeding the mysis, but you're gonna use tongs just because it's a bigger item. You're gonna place it onto the coral with the feeder tentacles near its mouth so that it can take it in. Watching a big LPS colony eat these big chunks of food is always really cool to see. Using pellets to feed it can be a really easy and good option for corals such as LPS and some soft corals like mushrooms. They tend to be really easy to feed just because the pellet will drop onto the coral and right towards their mouth. Use a turkey baster the same way you did with your other foods. Feeding your coral is important to their health, but always be sure not to overdo it. Feeding too much can cause issues with water quality, which we want to avoid. Always monitor water levels like nitrate and phosphate to make sure you're not overfeeding. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. And to learn more about Waterbox, visit Waterbox Aquarium.